Are your probiotics effective? Do they work at all? As outrageous as this sounds, many don't. In fact, just a couple of years ago, DNA testing exposed that a staggering 79% of supplements had misleading labels. Top retailers like GNC, Walmart, Target, and Walgreens were forced to remove products from their shelves immediately. So what's going on here? Well, with this $133 billion industry, manufacturers are cutting corners and cashing in. They scam you into buying subpar products full of fancy labels, scientific jargon, and misleading information. Confused? Well, that's intentional. But we're going to clear things up right now. Smarter Reviews has put together a quick shopping guide to help you make better shopping decisions, deciphering the deception with probiotic labels. Let's kick things off with deceptive tactic number one, strain skimping or not enough strains. Each probiotic strain performs a different function in your body. So if your product only has one or two, that's a big red flag. To find out if your probiotic supplier is guilty of this tactic, look at the label on the bottle. Find the list of probiotic strains. These are the intimidatingly long Latin words, such as lactobacillus plantarum. Good probiotic supplements use a wide variety of strains. The very best have at least 10. If your probiotic supplement has only a couple, stop wasting your money and buy something better. On the flip side, manufacturers using deceptive tactic number two, cheap generic probiotics, throw a ton of subpar strains into their products. But generic probiotic strains haven't been clinically tested or proven to work. Manufacturers just hope their extensive probiotic list will trick you into believing you're buying a good product, and they often get away with it. Check out the quality of your strains by looking at your probiotic label once again. Right next to those long probiotic names, there should be a series of letters and numbers to indicate a substrain has been used, like B42L or L23P. Substrains are higher quality probiotic strains that have been clinically tested and proven effective. Without substrains listed, you can be sure that a generic version was used, and that's a giant red flag. Inferior strains are just that, inferior. They don't work. That brings us to deceptive tactic number three, confusing CFU claims. You've probably seen the acronym CFU on probiotic labels before. It stands for Colony Forming Unit, and it's the main indicator of probiotic potency. As a rule, your probiotic should have between 40 and 50 billion CFUs. Many probiotics claim to have high CFUs, but actually don't. Our research uncovered countless examples of probiotics labels with misleading CFUs. One label claimed as effective as 90 billion CFU, but the itemized ingredient breakdown on that label, the part where it matters, didn't match up. The front of another label boasted the highest CFUs per serving, yet on the ingredient breakdown, CFUs were listed per gram, not per serving, making it impossible to determine the actual potency. Red flags. Also, remember talking about cheap generic probiotics a bit ago? Well, even for a product with high CFUs, if it contains generic strains, it still won't cut it. The best probiotics will have both high CFUs and clinically tested ingredients. If your probiotic doesn't have both, you're throwing your money away. Check the ingredient section on your labels closely to spot these scams. You don't have to look closely for deceptive tactic number four, bogus proprietary blends. This sneaky trick has ensnared many unsuspecting shoppers. Several popular supplement brands boast a proprietary blend on their labels. This may sound fancy, but actually it's the opposite. A proprietary blend only tells you what's in the supplement, not how much. And if it's a substrain, not the CFU count, not much of anything, and that's a huge red flag. Don't get ripped off. Make sure your probiotic has an itemized list of clinically proven strains and avoid any probiotic supplements listing proprietary blend. That brings us to deceptive tactic number five, passing up 
prebiotics. Probiotic manufacturers use this one frequently, but most people don't know about it. Brands cut costs by not including prebiotics in their probiotic supplements. Prebiotics are a special kind of fiber that feeds the good bacteria in your gut. Without prebiotics, the good bacteria won't have the fuel it needs to not only survive, but to flourish and thrive. Don't get scammed by greedy probiotics manufacturers. Keep these underhanded tactics in mind as you shop for probiotics. And if you'd like even more info on probiotics, take a look at our top five list. We tested 70 of the top probiotics on the market and picked the best of the best.